All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to be talking about the very, very basics of WordPress. And no blogging uh, section of any course would be complete without bringing up WordPress, which is essentially the best uh, blogging software available. And um, that's really, if you're going to be a content marketer, um, you really need to get familiar with WordPress. And what WordPress is, is it's a content management system. And uh, what I'm going to do is just take you on a quick tour of WordPress. We are absolutely not going to get in uh, to the weeds of WordPress, except that I want you to understand that if you're going to be a content marketer, you probably need to learn the ropes of WordPress and how it works. All right, so let's jump into my computer and have a look around at WordPress. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is, you know, the digital marketer blog and, and the blog itself is run by a content management system called WordPress. And uh, like I said, you know, it is the most powerful um, and also uh, has the benefit of being free uh, blogging software out there. But really, the, the software WordPress can run your entire website. So if I click here and go to the home page of Digital Marketer, this is actually WordPress as well. So it doesn't have to be used to, to just for blogging purposes. WordPress is able to run an entire website, not just the blogging portion, but it's very, very good at running the blog side of things. So if we go back over to the blog, you can see here that we have a blog post here called uh, Checklist, Five Copywriting Elements to Test on Your Landing Page. Um, if we click here, you know, this entire post is written inside of WordPress. It's all styled in there. And everything that you see here is driven by the content management system, WordPress. So I'm going to go in here and edit the post and just show you the back end. Now, a lot of you guys are listening to this are like, wow, you know, I've been using WordPress for years and years, but like I said, it's just, this is just an absolutely necessary part of any discussion about content marketing or blogging is, is just to give the cursory uh, look around. I'm not going to bore you with, with too much on WordPress, uh, but if you are unfamiliar with WordPress, you absolutely should, um, should dive deeper in and, and really get to know this system because as a content marketer, you will almost certainly run into WordPress, uh, at some point. And, you know, especially if you're running your own business, um, you, you should really consider WordPress if you're going to be a content marketer as your, as the, um, the system that runs, at least your blog, but probably just your entire website. So, um, so what am I looking at here? I mean, you're looking at an individual post here. So the post is just written inside of here and, um, you know, you've got the ability to just write an article and then publish it by pressing this, this blue button over here. Um, you know, you can add categories and, and it's, it's, you know, basically a, a full out of the box solution for running a content strategy. And remember in the earlier video in this lesson, we talked about, um, the fact that, you know, a blog is such a weird and unique piece of content, a uh, type of content because it houses so many different things. And, you know, earlier in the certification, we talked about, you know, the types of resources that we can use at the middle of the funnel to generate leads. Uh, so educational resources and useful resources. These things can live on your blog as well. I mean, like this page right here is, is a landing page or a squeeze page that we are using to generate leads in the middle of the funnel. And this is WordPress. Okay. This is built using WordPress, but it isn't necessarily built using WordPress right outside of the box, right? And it's, this is not WordPress out of the box. So how do we make WordPress do things that, um, it can't do when we first install it or when we first use it outside out of the box. And this is the big thing that I want to drive home in this topic is this concept of plugins. All right. So what is a WordPress plugin? So WordPress plugin is 
is a piece of software basically that you plug onto this onto WordPress to make it do something that it couldn't do when you first installed it. So it adds functions to WordPress. In this case, this plugin is called Optimize Press. And Optimize Press is able to build these cool looking landing pages like this. And it's a paid plugin. In other words, WordPress couldn't do it when we first installed it. it couldn't build these pages really easily. Um, we installed the plugin and now we're able to build pages like this very easily. So um, any time that you as a content marketer need your blog or your your website platform to do something that it can't do you want to look to see if there is a plugin that can make it happen for you so if you're doing webinars and events you can find plugins that will create event calendars and can create pages to register for webinars. Um, if you're creating uh, white papers, um, you can create opt-in forms that can go on the side of your of your blog and um, and and allow for downloads of your white paper. Um, so just about anything that you can think of uh, that you would want your WordPress site to do, there's probably a plugin for that. Okay, so here are uh, five plugins that I really recommend that every WordPress installation uh, use right outside of the box. Okay, so the first one's called Akismet, and Akismet comes with WordPress, like it's already on WordPress, it's just not activated. All right, and you use Akismet to fight spam. All right, so basically, once your blog reaches a point where it's getting some traffic, you won't be able to blog, uh, assuming you are accepting comments, without having something like a Kismet installed that is blocking spam. Because once your blog starts to reach, you know, any sort of amount of traffic, you're going to start getting a lot of spam. So for so for example. Digital marketers blog gets thousands of spam uh, hits per hour. All right, so we're talking about you know tens of thousands per day. We get hit with spammy comments, and a Kismet blocks all of that for us. So a Kismet is already installed um, on the site. You can see in our plugins directory inside of WordPress that we have a Kismet, and that it, it in that it is installed. All right, now the second one that I recommend that everybody install is called WordPress SEO by Yoast. All right, because later on in this, um, later on we're going to go over some SEO principles or some search engine optimization principles. In other words, how do you get traffic to your blog and content using the Google search engine? And this plugin, WordPress SEO by Yoast, is very, very handy when it comes to, um, to getting uh getting your blog content set properly so that it can so that google will start sending you traffic so we will actually use this plugin a little bit later um in in certification i will show you some things with the yoast seo plugin uh then we have dig dig okay dig dig let me see if i can find some screenshots of dig dig yeah okay so right here you can see the example of a blog using dig dig we are not using dig dig on on our blog because we are using a custom built uh, social sharing plugin. But this social sharing plugin adds this little floating bar here that you can click to tweet this content or you can click to like it on Facebook or add it on LinkedIn or whatever you want to do. Um, or it can create this little static one up here. So it's a really nice uh, social sharing plugin. I like it a lot. You know, we had a custom one built. If you don't have the means or the time or, you know, the inclination to create a custom uh, social sharing plugin, uh, use Dig Dig. It's a nice plugin. Uh, number four is WP Supercache. All right. So, but WP Supercache is a plugin that plugs on the WordPress and makes your site faster. 
All right, it makes your site load faster. And I can go into uh, a lot of the details about how Supercache actually works, You can, but you can look in it, into it at your own leisure. But suffice to say that turning on WP Supercache will make your site load faster, which is a, a big indication as to how many people will stay on your site. All right, because if your site loads really slowly or it even loads moderately slowly, you will lose traffic. Um, in fact, there have been tests done that show that fractions of a second in load speed times can affect big time the amount of people that stay on your site. So use something like WP Supercache to load your to make sure your site's loading as fast as possible. The last plugin that I wanted to uh, recommend to you is the Google Analytics plugin, which you don't have to use a plugin to install Google Analytics. Um, you could install it a lot of different ways, um, and you certainly don't want to install the same instance of Google Analytics multiple times on your site. So if you've already installed Google Analytics in some way, you don't need this plugin. Uh, but if you're just getting started and you're looking for a way to get Google Analytics on your blog, in other words, the ability to see your stats using Google Analytics, this is a good plugin to use to get Google Analytics on all your pages all at one time using using a plugin. And um, so again, don't install this plugin and use it if you've already got Google Analytics, because then you'll have double you'll have double uh, the Google Analytics and your traffic will double overnight, and some other weird things will happen to your Google Analytics uh, if you install it twice. So there's a few plugins uh, that I definitely recommend that you use. Um, so suffice to say, I'm not going to go into, this is not a WordPress course. There are plenty of courses out there about how to use WordPress. And in fact, all you really need to learn how to use WordPress is, you know, the support documentation from WordPress. And, you know, if you can't find something on there, it's going to be on YouTube or, or any of the number of, you know, millions of blogs out there that write stuff about how to use WordPress. Uh, it is essentially uh, the most accepted um, content management system for content marketers. And if you are a content marketer, you really should learn to use WordPress.